Hello everyone. Today we're going to try to calculate an equivalent resistance between points K and L of the network of resistance shown here. So, how do we do it? Before we proceed, let's uh, recall what is the equivalent resistance of the resistors that are uh, connected in series and in parallel. So, if you're given two resistors that are connected in series, what's going to happen? Let's say uh, current is coming out of the battery that has a potential difference or a voltage of V. This current is going to, this same current going to go through this resistor R1 and then R2 and then uh, and back to a battery, right? So I should be equal to I1. Uh, and I1 should be equal to I2. So all the, cu the current throughout uh, this network is the same. What about the voltage? Well, voltage drop across this resistance is going to be V1, and the voltage drop across the second resistor is going to be V2, and that should add up to the voltage uh, drop uh, created by the battery. So V equals V1 plus V2. Equivalent resistance is going to be just R1 plus R2. In the case when the two resistors are connected in parallel, your current I is going to split into current I1 that goes in through the resistor R1 and then into I2 that goes through the second resistor and then they're going to combine back and then go back into your battery. So your I equals I1 plus I2, right? I1 plus I2 combines back and goes in, but the voltage drop across these two resistors, since they're connected at the same point, is going to be the same. So V1 equals to V2, and that's equal to the uh, potential of the battery. The equivalent resistance is given by this equation. So 1 over R equivalent equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. If there is a third one, then it's going to be plus 1 over R3, and so on. Or you can just simplify this expression using algebra, and that's what you arrive. So R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is going to be your equivalent resistance. Now, let's get back to the problem. So, let's simplify this circuit. And this is how it's going to look like. So, we have from point K, we have this junction. You're going to go towards 2R and 2R here. And then you have 3R and it's in parallel with this wire, right? They're connected essentially at the same point because there is, uh, there is no resistors in here and the potential drop across here is zero. So you can just represent this as, uh, with a wire whose resistance is zero. And then you have 6R and then you have 12R on this side and then you combine uh, and then you're going to go towards the point L. So what is the equivalent resistance uh, between point A and B. So resistance between point A and, A and B, if you use this equation, is going to be 3R times 0 divided by 3R plus 0, which is 0. So in other words, you can represent your circuit this way, because this is effectively 0, right? Now keep in mind, the potential drop between these two points is going to be what? 0, because there is no resistance uh, between them, right? So we can represent this uh, like this, right? So that the same junction, you can represent it like this. Now what we have, we have these two resistors in parallel, another two resistors in parallel, right? And then this network and this network are in series. So let's calculate, the, uh, let's call this a network one, let's call this one and a network two. So resistance of uh, first network is going to be just uh, according to this equation, 2R times 2R divided by 2R plus 2R, which is just R. And for the same network, for the second network, we do the same. 6R times 12R divided by 18R gives you 4R, right? Now, so these are in parallel, uh, each of them. Now they're in series uh, with each other. So this one, the equivalent resistance of this R1 and the R2 are given here. But they are in series, so the resistance between point K and L is just going to be R plus 4R, which is 5R. And that's the solution to the problem. Thank you.